Hello there. Let us travel to Russia, a country far, far away. And let us travel to Moscow, the capital city. And just outside Moscow lives Irina Kopalyova. She's 40 years old. She has a teenage daughter and a husband. She works in the meat packing business daytime. It's stressful. She has to run back and forth and she doesn't really have time to you know, deeply reflect on her issues she might have had. And she just had a quite strong issue. Her, her father passed away just two months ago. And this is something that keeps her up at night. She can't fall asleep in time. And actually, that is a problem shared by about 17% of the global population, especially also in Russia, as recently proven by a research at the Almazov Institute. Maybe you are one of these 17 persons who cannot fall asleep in time sometimes. Well, that is not the only thing with Russia. It's also that the English language is not very well spread out. They actually in Russia, they have their own Google, it's called Yandex. They have their own Facebook, it's called Vikontakti. They have their own eBay, it's called Avito, and so forth. So the localization of our product with a sense of what the Slavic, the, the, the people there love, is probably an edge itself. Actually, we saw recently with Twitter, that is a global template, right? A global product had troubles uh, expanding into Germany because the German uh, people have a sense of privacy, a big, bigger than many other countries, and their language actually contains more letters in each words. So it didn't work there, but it worked well in France. And this localization can become a barrier in itself. And that's where Saga comes in. Only in Russian, uh, we have created sleep stories, specifically designed, inspired by Swedish science actually, to make people fall asleep faster in the evening, especially Russian people. We are working with Russian celebrities also to narrate and make it a bit more fun also. But the main point is that the sleep stories are specially exclusively made for Saga to slowly lull a person into sleep in 15 minutes. For Ira, Kopalyova, you remember her from outside Moscow? She has used the Saga app now for quite some time and it works for her at least 50% of the time. So you have to recognize it doesn't work every time, but 50% is still a fantastic result for something that uh, is free and costs a little bit in the premium version. If you are those, one of those who cannot really sleep at night, think about it, try to do something about it, download the Saga app today.